Hello and welcome back to another video. This one will be a short one and I, uh, this is recorded after all the other recording you will see in this video because I need some help because I don't understand why why this uh, channel, this right channel of this uh, amplifier output why isn't it working. So the first thing you check is the center voltage and then you check if uh, the the rest current or the Q Q Q Q Q sent current Q sent current. I don't know how to say it. It should yield such that you get 50 millivolts over this resistor. So, but I get zero, and I get uh, very low values here. And on the channel that works, that looks exactly like this in schematic, it's above there. And I have 42 volts there, and 33 or 32 volts there. But on this channel, that doesn't work. I get the 42 volts, so that's okay. And that comes directly from the uh, full re bridge rectifier to drive this power stage. But on this side of this resistor, which drives these transistors, I get zero. <laughs> That's really strange. Do I really have a resistor that is not working? I haven't tested that yet. It's too late for me anyway, but I will check it. But maybe is there some other thing that I can, could have done, or have done, or could have checked? So... I find it really strange that this will be zero because you have 1k and then you have 2.7k and even if there was something fault here making dragging the voltage far far down um, the voltage here should be above half of 42 volt so that's not really great so yeah, so I find that strange. I put all of this transistor in my transistor tester. And I think I will show that in the video if I haven't deleted those. And they all work. Maybe the tester doesn't show how they perform in their load. So, and I also switch out these two with new ones. But not the driver transistors. So, yeah. Also, something else may be wrong, if you think about it, but it doesn't explain why you get zero here now. Uh, this uh, Mika pad that goes into the heatsink, maybe that one is short-circuiting, so I will check that later. So yeah, so thank you for watching and uh, enjoy the rest of the video.
have a probe behind here. It's well insulated, just in case. Have a probe on ground and two meters. Actually, I connected the ground. I think there's a connection here to here, so these two have the same ground. This is the um, mid voltage. So if you look here, the adjustment recommendations for uh, center voltage you set here should be 7.7 .7, and then the Q cent, Qi cent, that's the rest current, should be uh, what does it say? 15 millivolts. So, yeah, it's uh, rising a bit. It's uh, been on for only two minutes, so maybe, yeah, it changes a little bit over time. So, but I found it a little bit strange because I already adjusted this and now it was all wrong. So that I found that strange. Maybe because I uh, have sprayed it with alcohol the other day. So, so then uh, maybe it has had time to clean up. Uh, now, this is the left channel and this is the right channel and the left channel. It sounds okay. Just haven't connected the proper antenna. So the thing is if I connect the same setup up on the right channel I'm unable to get 17 and a half volt so I have bought these two transistors and um, but before I do anything I should measure stuff but I think actually it could be these driver transistors okay I have this setup over on the right channel <laughs> the voltage is creeping up so when I switch it on you can see it drops down right away and there it goes I have no idea what's going on so and also I'm unable to adjust that so well I can try but you can hear what it sounds like so yeah, there's something wrong there. Right, so we saw that the voltage was floating up and down. And uh, on the other meter we couldn't see any rest current or QSN current. And uh, the QSN current is measured here, actually. So, no, here. Should be 15 millivolts. That was fine on the left channel, but on the right channel it wasn't possible. So, <clears throat> how is that possible? Uh, well, not sure what's going on this way. Anyway, um, the current is supposed to flow here and some here. You can look at this as a Darlington because this current here is amplified by this current here which is amplified by this one again. So uh, that th they are connected as a Darlington. I think this is also is a Darlington just you have a uh, uh, P and P instead I think. So why don't you s we see any current here or voltage? So because there should be voltage when there is current. So there can be different uh, explanations. Um, so let's think about that. I think maybe it could be this one because if this one's broken, then you you don't have the possibility to lift this one up. Um, it could also be this one because this one is responsible for the voltage uh, here so it's a bit difficult because if there's if let's say this one is shorted then um, this voltage will be dragged down quite a lot so 
Uh, no, that's difficult to say. So, I have some new FX transistors from Israel. I bought from Israel. These are the ones that came with them. I figured out I have to put them in the middle. I didn't think it matter, but um, it does. So they are okay, actually. It seems. Oh, here I have the same problem again. No. There is the Beta 58. So this one is okay. Um, just checked on the data sheet there. 20 as the lowest uh, DC gain. So next one is a bit low. There you can see 39, but it's still within though. So, so let's see. Just go through. These are the new ones. This fifty-seven, and I think the other is fifty-four. And that's the uh, current gain. DC current gain. If that current gain is too low, and uh, the transistors might not be able to. Uh, Drive the um, yeah, drive the uh, bias. So, well, if those are okay, then maybe it's the driver transistors. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should desolder them and just test them. Okay, so I took out the uh, NPN driver transistor. Seems to be fine fine gain and everything it's kind of cool also you look at it like this so and there you can see it's 06 actually MMPS U06 not 05 so yeah but they are used interchangeably here we have a U56 that one is a PMP. So see how this goes. Looks fine to me. Well, I forgot to say, you know, they look fine here. They might not be fine after all because it doesn't show you what they do under load. So. I desolder this little bastard of a uh, pot meter and uh, it's a 500 ohms pot meter and it uh, was uh, when I turned it <coughs> it didn't go all the way you can see it works fine and it can go all the way down but uh, it didn't <laughs> so <laughs> When it came up to like uh, 300 or something, 400, it starts to go backwards. I don't know why. So, so I cleaned it with some uh, electronic cleaning, basically isopropanol, and uh, then I have already done that, but it didn't help probably. And then I really vigorously did wipe the contacts back and forth. So yeah, maybe that's the problem. Maybe it's uh, dirty pots.